Hello tech friends. Today we've got another tape, a cover tape from Crash Magazine, March 1990. On this we've got four games, Gilligan's Gold, 1985, The Day After, Carissia, and Mission Fallout. So we're going to give these a go. Let's take a look at the magazine and we'll get this loaded. So let's take a look at the magazine. So this one, yes, March 1990, Crash. Look at this, another cover with an amazing bit of artwork on the front. Uh, and uh, there's a little note there saying, where's my great Crash cassette? You better, you better ask your news agent nicely, <laughs> it says. Um, this has got a very British vibe, this magazine. Um, bunch of adverts there for some ocean games. Um, they put a lot of things out. And we've got the Hit Squad. And you can see a few games there. Um, Miami Vice. Uh, and look, I think that's Steven Seagal. Um, great. Okay. But the most important thing is what's on that cover tape and uh, is it worth playing? Well, of course it is. I mean, I would imagine you would have probably got the cassette and you'd have stuck it in and you'd load it on your spectrum and, and reading the magazine while you're waiting for it to load. So the first game on there, Gilligan's Gold. Gold! It gives you a blooming fever. And Gilligan's Gold will set your temperature soaring. We'll see whether that's entirely true. Collect sacks of gold and dodge the bandits. Hang on to the ladders, run down the ladders, the, the trucks, hang on to the trucks, run down the ladders and jump into the lifts. But watch out for those rootin' tootin' mine shafts. What mine shafts? Those mine are plop. Excellent. Excellent British journalism at its finest. We've got Gilligan's controls down here. Use keyboard control to skip, uh, to scoop up the gold. P. That's up. Enter is down. <laughs> it's, uh, um, interesting. Uh, it makes more sense on a 48K spectrum. I'll show you the screenshot of what that would look like in a sec. Um, Q, left, W, right, space, action, or use a joystick with a Kempston, Sinclair, Protec, or AGF interface. Well, we'll use the Kempston interface and simulate it on the keys, I think, for that particular one. Um, on the next page, whoa, bit of sauce. Um, we'll come to that in just a second. 1985, the day after. Push your dexterity to the limits in Mastertronic Space Hopper. Reckon you've, you're a bit of a hot shot of this game. I've played this one already, and this one is incredibly, incredibly difficult. Uh, well, tackle this classic Thrust-esque game, and you may think differently, because 1985 could drive you bonkers. Um, yeah, I, that is an accurate description. Uh, you got controls there. Uh, Z to rotate left, X to rotate right, space for thrust, symbol shift for your old tractor beam. Uh, uh, there we go. A bit tricky, uh, so it's just as well you can use your joystick. Okay, so that's the second game. Then we've got Carissia, Queen of Diamonds, which is kind of a bit more like a text adventure with some uh, with some actual graphic bits on there. And graphic is right. I mean, look at this. I mean, there's a lot of instructions for this one. Um, when Crash ran the stunning three-part trilogy, the Cat Trilogy, we had a huge response from readers who loved it. And so this is the, the March edition. And then in the April edition, you've got Carissia 2. Um, and then uh, Special Commands. We'll, we'll figure this one out. It's kind of like a text uh, entry thing. Um, but you can buy and you can get status and examine and stuff like that. Um, and then... The final game is Mission Fallout, a completely brilliant game from Mark Thompson. Here's one of the best reader games Crash has ever received, and you'll love it. It's a Wizzo arcade adventure, and it goes like this. And I'll just scroll on to the next page um, where you can, your eyes will be drawn to things like the advert for The National uh, to represent horse racing. <laughs> That's a good one, isn't it? And then on the right hand side, some more uh, pretty classy games. Look, a free top 40 music tape when you buy two computer games. You can't lose. You got your old Batman there. You got Ghostbusters 2. And what's the free cassette this person's chosen? Only the fine young cannibals. Fantastic. Um, that's, uh, what does it say? Only at Boots can you join forces with the Ghostbusters, obliterate the Joker, and take home Kylie Minogue for under £21. What a bargain. Anyway, being distracted by the adverts, um, this game, you're kind of like a little robot going around. Um, and we've got some controls here. While, whilst on the jet spot, usual uh, directional controls and fire apply. On the ground, O and P move SID left and right. Q makes SID jump. Um, and A lays an anti-gravity platform, of course. Use V to abort. H to pause. 
S to swap items. I mean, the, the controls get a bit complicated, don't they? After a while. Okay, let's take a look at each of the games and see what we've got. Okay, first up, we've got Gilligan's Gold. We're selecting one for the Kempston interface. So I can use my arrow keys on my keyboard and press tab to fire. And that picks up whatever I'm standing over. Uh, so this, I guess, is gold that I'm picking up from the mine. And I have to drop it into, if I can actually pick it up, into the mine cart. There it goes. In it goes. Okay. Um, and I think if I... No, I can't go any further to the left there. This looks like a single screen game. But if I move all the way to the right... Look at this. It's happening. Oh. Wow. Look both ways before you cross the road. Um... So, you know, I guess I'm just trying to get the high score here, aren't I? Here's my little hammer. My pickaxe, I should say. So I can uh, go after these guys. Yeah. <laughs> Take that. Uh, subhuman scum. Um, oh. Oh, he's after me. He's after me. They're a bit faster than me. That's hardly fair, is it? Um, and I think you're supposed to be able to get into the mine, the, the mine car itself. Oh, dear. It's not going to end well. He's trapped me. Uh, okay. I think we've got one life left. Let's see if we can get another one of these in. Uh, but this guy, he's after me. I'm, I'm surrounded. Can I fall down here? Do I want to fall down here? Oh, he's after me. Up we go. Up the old steps. And then... Uh, pick it up. Pick it up. Oh, you've got to be very accurate with the... There we go with the exact placement oh oh dear problems problems are, are behind me problems in front of me uh well that's gilligan's gold all right uh that's our first one right second one then 1985 the day after okay now this is a tricky one kempston here we go um i think this one was a bit easy with the with the keyboard controls actually so i'm going to select four for keyboard only and five for game start and here we go. We rotate left and right with Z and X. Fine. Thrust. Space. Tractor. I'll just show you the keyboard. Here we go. So you can see that the P and Enter button for the previous game would have been OK as up and down because they're next to each other, really. Um, symbol shift. Uh, menu. High school demo. Right. OK. I've seen a demo. I'm going to play this game. Let's play it. Now I do know. Um, you've got to thrust immediately. Okay, so... Oh, that's me pressing... Oh, that's an alarming noise. Uh, so, right, so... The object of this game is not to die. Okay, you're obviously trying to get a high score. How do you do that? You've got to survive for a long time. Um, and you're trying to fly up to those planets you can see at the top, right? But, but unlike every other kind of uh, um, spaceship setup... Oh, 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 oh! Oh, oh, dear me. Um, you you launch underground, which seems... Um, hey, that's where the oxygen is maybe on this particular planet. But, um, oh, it's a bit... So, probably think, where is he going? Don't think that for too much longer. Okay, well, I've crashed. But there is a screen to the left and right of this, which I have made it to possibly one in a hundred times. Um, so maybe we will see if there is a demonstration that we could watch to show us how to actually play this properly. Um, it's, the controls are very sensitive. Um, just like for us, there's a, there's a bit of a classic arcade game that's like this. Okay, oh, we've made it onto the other screen. <laughs> oh, but hey, I've made it onto the high score table, um, which I can't actually type in. Um, so I uh, have to slide left and right. Okay, that's not a convenient way to type in the name. Um, okay, let's have another go um, and see if we can do any better. High score 50. Doesn't seem like a particularly high number, does it? Um, oh, sometimes uh, I think when you play games, you there's a there's a hesitancy to to take action um, and. Oh, dear me. Okay. Okay. And uh, maybe the game actually rewards you for being brave. So, you know, the faster you whiz through a level. Um, hey, we've made it out. We've made it out. Okay. I I've literally not got this far before. 
Um, so now I have to know what the button is to. Oh, I'm on the I'm on the planet. I'm on the planet. Oh, I don't like that guy. No way. No, 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 no. Uh, oh, what? I just die for for trying to escape the planet's gravity. I suppose do I? <laughs> okay, cruel. A cruel. Oh, I think. Oh. To to thrust downwards is um, an alarming feeling. Let's, we're trying out the the right exit now. Um, oh, of course you've got fuel to worry about as well. I can see that ticking away at the bottom of the screen. Okay. Um, and I think this must be my last life now. Uh, I'm sure you're all hoping that this will be over soon, but no, you are forced to watch. Um, and uh, your your uh, fast forward button on YouTube has been disabled. Um, well, I've died again. Hey, but I beat the last score. Great, I've got 80, 86 points. Just have to resist the urge to uh, type in uh, the actual uh, high score name and use left and right, the Z and X keys to do that right. Okay, okay. I'm pressing D for demo. Go on, show me how it's done then. Oh, you're not really showing me here, are you? You're, uh, you're just scrolling the screen. So what you're supposed to do then is kind of fly off, land on the planet, pick up something and come back, I think. But of course, having never got that far, I mean, some of these parts of the level, I mean, how on earth would I navigate the ship through that? Okay, so there we go. That is 1985, the day after. Now I think we need something a little more sedate. And that sedate entry is this, Carissia. Look at this. We're in a pub. It's great to start in a in a pub um, or a tavern, probably. You're in Sword and Buckler Inn. Well, an inn. <laughs> the innkeeper, Bariner, is here. The scullery is to the west. A large stone stairway leads down. A painting hangs on the southern wall. What now? OK, um, well, you normally type in these commands like north. Here we are. Um, you are on a road outside the Sword and Buckler Inn. Uh, Mottinan Bay is a little way to the north. We should go there, I think. East, you can see a cliff top. The road continues west. What now? Okay, if I go to east, will I actually be able to not eat? No, no, no. We're going east. Uh, you are on a cliff top. The ground seems very soft. Some 30 yards below, you can see a small stretch of sand. Okay, what if I say down? Can't go that way. Um, uh, what about oh status i think was one of the things you could uh you could press yeah skill rating novice stamina level energetic how well they know me uh okay let's go oh, west then we're back in back in the previous bit so it's useful when you're playing a game like this to actually draw the map out um and it was wasn't it nice having the actual building that we could see the image <laughs> and now we can't see it anymore um okay let's go uh west uh you're on the road on a road. North is Florissian's plant shop. Oh, let's go to the plant shop. And south is the scullery of the Sword and Buckler Inn. Uh, let's go north. Here we go. Hey, look at this. Uh, we're in somewhere. You're in Florissian's plant shop. Two large plants stand by the door. An impressive array of flowers graces the shelves. Florissia is here. What now? Okay, can I talk to... Florissia? Oh, I spelled that wrong. I haven't put a space in there. Um, you talk to Florissia. What now? Uh, hmm. Shop? I do not understand. Bye. How about bye? You cannot do that. I'd like to know what is for, uh, for sale <laughs> in this shop. Um, hello? See? And obviously, after a very short period of time, what you would end up doing is typing in swear words to see if um, it's programmed to reject them. Let's try one of those now. It simply did not understand. All right, fair enough. Um, right, so uh, should we, can we leave? Uh, was it west? Uh, is it east? East, not eat. Is it north? <laughs> is it south? Yes. Okay. Right. Let's keep going south. And now I think we're back in here in this. Um... Oh, you can also see a small sapphire. 
Can I get sapphire? If I can, if I can spell it, I can't spell it. This is done. Is that now in my inventory? That's good that it did it without me. You are carrying a small sapphire and you have zero gold pieces. Right, let's keep going south, please. Uh, let's go west then, please. Uh, you're in a garden. There's a large oak tree here. East is a scullery. Uh, north, you can see a road. Let's go north. Um, anyway, you get the general idea with that game. I'm sure I had to do something with that sapphire. In fact, I think the guy who runs the inn was looking for it. So that's that's a task that you're supposed to do. Um, I mean, I'm sure it's wild and sprawling. Um, but let's just get on now and view the next game, Mission Fallout. And here's an unusual uh, thing to be displayed before you start playing a game. Very, 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 uh, etc. Uh, important note for 128k users. Don't endure this 48k trash any longer. Buy the 128k version now. Featuring amazing in-game music and three incredible sub-games. A scrolling shoot 'em up a maze game and press any key. Can I press any key now? Um, I'm going to press a key. Uh, simply send a blank tape. And it's got someone's. Someone's address there. Yeah, 17 Linton Drive, Southport. Merseyside. And that's literally someone's home address. Uh, let's press any key to get the game started. And see if you can figure out how this game is supposed to be played. So I'll be using Q, A, O, and P um, to move my little dude around. Um, and easy peasy. That's... Uh, I'm, I'm literally pressing a few of the different buttons here. Oh, space fires. All right, I like that. I like that. That's that's good. Oh, here we go. Oh, <laughs> my fingers are in the wrong place on the keyboard. <laughs> um, but there we go. Uh, so, yeah, I can shoot these. Do I get points? Uh, I got, I've got 20 points to my name. Oh, I fell down. Um, I mean, I, I, get, I get knocked down. That's what people say, isn't it? Uh, I get up again. Oh, I can't seem to get up there, though. Um, oh, I'm pressing space, but I don't seem to have any more, any more bullets left. Um, that's me. <clears throat> oh, hey, look at this. I've got little, hey, that's no, that's pretty cool. Okay. And we fall all the way back down again. Right. So can I just go over the top here? Hey, look at that. But it looks like I've only got limited use of that. Um, so I should be whoop, very careful. Oh, what's this? Is this something I can pick up? Just looks like a. A strange object. Let's see if we can get through here. Whoop. Um oh I've been I've been damaged. I've been damaged. Uh malf did you just see that on the screen? Okay, what's up here? Can we get up here? It's a bit of a interesting uh way to get around a game, isn't it? You have just Oh Can I get through? Uh I'm missing the messages on the top of the screen, so uh I can't see what they say, but I'm pressing space, but nothing's, I think I've run out of, run out of bullets or something. Oh, down we go. And I'm just sort of, it feels like I'm sort of navigating around. Oh, are these bits I supposed to pick up? Oh, what's happening there? What? I walk into that and something, oh, my energy is, um, hmm, not quite sure what I'm supposed to do there. Um, feels like I'm stuck. Hey, get used to it. Playing a Spectrum game is all about being stuck. <laughs> it's coming up with some strange... Yeah, look, I'm getting damaged. That, that looks like a light. But I, without being able to fire anymore, I, I don't seem to have any control over... Um, oh, dear. I've, I've, I seem to have trapped myself. Well, there we go. <laughs> That's kind of a platform game, I guess. Um... I, I, I think that's Spectrum's answer to Metroid or Castlevania or something like that. That game is Mission Fallout. And that concludes us looking at the four games from Crash Magazine, March 1990. I hope you enjoyed it. I'll see you again soon.